Hi, my name is Erin. I'm a certified hoop dance instructor here at the ARC at Queen's University. So I'm going to show you the revolving door. I'll show you what it is first and then we'll break it down in several moves. The first move that we're going to do is hand hooping. You want to make sure that your thumb is always behind the hoop and that you're pushing with the palm of your hand. So in almost every move, there's going to be a push. So in this one, it's going to be a sideways push. You're going to keep your elbow right in by your side. Thumb is going to stay pointing up. So you're going to give the hoop a big wind up and then push it into the palm of your hand. So from here, the more that I can push the palm of my hand into the hoop, the less it's going to roll over the back of my hand and the less it'll be a little bit uncomfortable. So from here we're going to take that same move and do it overhead. I would suggest that you look up so that you always know where your hoop is so that it doesn't fall on your face. So if you're right handed you're going to bring the hoop out into your right hand and you're going to turn away from the hoop. So again my thumb is behind the hoop, fingers are pointing forward. Left hand you'll do the same thing and just turning away from the hoop. So I'm going to let the momentum of me turning carry the hoop up overhead looking up and then I'm going to push into the palm of my hand so now the push is forward and back. So from the overhead hand hooping, as you feel the hoop roll across the palm of your hand, you're going to close your hand around the hoop and bring the hoop down in front of you. Stop it here, and you're going to step your opposite leg in, lift the hoop over your head, and then step your leg out. From here it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to turn away from the hoop again, creating momentum, and then changing your grip. So bringing Letting the hoop roll across the palm of your hand as you slide your fingers in and your thumb to the outside. So if your hoop is fairly small and you're tall, you could play around with different levels. So getting really small so that you can get inside your hoop. And you could also play around with keeping the leg.